so good morning my friends today we are performing in solar data analysis and prediction and we are using an lstm long short term memory algorithm which is based on rn and recurrent neural network so first of all we downloaded the data and we are working on the collab google collab so this is our data so let's start doing and making a model so first of all uh, we will import our libraries numpy matplotlib seaborn and panda so let's run this cell let's enter shift plus enter so here we run first cell so now let's read the data by using the panda data frame so we name the variable uh, named as data so now let's visualize or check our data how it looks to so see so let's also check the shape of the data data dot shape so we have 1009 and 40 1009 rows and 14 columns so the first is time stamp air temperature relative humidity wind free wind direction solar radiation and rtd stands for resistor temperature diode so it is actually a temperature con temperature detector so we have five rtd and now array voltage and array current and at last we have the column of power generated value so the shape is this let's check the non uh, null values and data type so we have value of float and we have object the time stamp is of object so let's visualize the data so let's make a joint plot by using seaborn library so here we making uh, we are visualizing the solar addition and the relative humidity so we can see that uh, this area as a the number of relative humidity is increasing so the addition is all is decreasing the higher the relativity the more the solar addition the less the relative humidity and the more the solar addition so let's make a graph of solar addition versus air temperature and this is x actually this is from the x axis and this is for y and this is the data that like which data frame we are using this is the parameters so here we can see the graph we can also make the graph of solar addition power generated you can visualize the data by yourself that what you want to know or what you want to gain the information the particular information let's make a pair plot by this you can you can get knowledge for power generated with respect to every factor or feature so it will take some time let's wait we got the results and it is based on the power generated we make the hue as this column okay so this is a pair plot you can visualize by yourself so now we will remove our time stamp by popping out so we are just naming as non normal variable you can name as anything so let's now take the data input so now uh, we tie we remove the time stamp because we don't need it so now we are left with their temperature uh, like 13 columns okay so let's standardize uh, standardize the data so we are using a standard scalar which is from uh, pre processing from sklearn scikit-learn so now we are importing standard scalar from scikit-learn uh, scikit pre processing and we are making an object scalar standard scalar and we are naming the columns which we want to scalarize or standardize so let's fit the data in it now we fitted the data now let's check how our data looks after scaling so here you can check the data is totally scaled up 
I think that we didn't do for wind direction. We should also pop out the waste, the wind direction. So let's also let's pop out the wind direction because we don't need it. And we also didn't standardize it. Okay. Now we will add a cell here. So now we should let's check the data now. Data dot info. Oh sorry, I missed the columns. Sorry, brackets. Now we will run. So yes, now we have left with 12 columns. Now you can see there is no wind direction. Okay. So now we will separate the output and the features by doing the pop operation. This is the power generated, which we have to predict. Now, our, now we are splitting the data. This is a very famous model selection train test split feature. Now we will split the data into x train x test y train y test and this is the function and we are taking a size 0.2 it means that 20% we are differencing the data with 20% so let's run this okay so this is our LST model we will first import tensorflow stf and we are setting the random speed as 42 and this is we are naming as let's name it model 1 and history save the working of this model that how it is measuring the loss and we name the loss as the mean absolute error we are calculating this and we are using the optimizer as adam so this is a very good optimizer which is very famous with the learning rate 0.01 so in the first layer we are taking 300 units and activation is relu rectified linear unit and we are putting the return sequence is equal to true because we need it and input shape is 12 this 12 is a time step and 1 is the output that what we need and now we will fit the model in the x train with the y train and uh, we will we will run with the epochs of 9 okay this is your choice that how much time you need let's change it to model 1 yes now it's okay so let's run our model hope for a good let's see what it gives to error yes now it's running so it's saying something oh sorry we have to pick 12 input 11 input because we have 11 time steps so see now this is running 0 0.3, 0 0.26, 0 0.25, 0 0.24. So we are getting an error of 13%, like 0 0.1302. Okay, now let's plot a history. Wow. So this is the history one which we saved our model's history in this variable. So let's make a history dot plot with the title model one LSTM and in Y label we have MAE and in X label X label we have epochs. So see, yeah, it's look fine. So let's evaluate our model with X test and Y test. Now we will see our main result or main error which we get with a test data set which is the main part of this video so we are getting an error of 11 percent and 0.11 is MAE so yeah, it's, it's, it is pretty good so this is our LSTM model and LSTM as you all know LSTM stands for longest, sh longest short term memory it's a very famous technique of RNN which is used very much okay so i will provide the data set below in the description and i hope that you like this video thank you